Tonight, all new at 6, Coachella Valley Water District is upgrading its equipment and replacing infrastructure that in some cases is decades old. News Channel 3's Jake Ingracia has more tonight on a new reservoir being built above Cathedral City. You might have seen the construction up on the hillside over the valley. That new reservoir holding 2.5 million gallons of drinking water. It's the new water infrastructure being built in the hills above the I-10 freeway near Cathedral City. The well pumps water from the ground because we have a groundwater basin. That's where our water comes from. And then it does go through a pipeline system to homes and businesses, but it also goes to those reservoirs so that we can store the water there for later use. Reservoir 3570-1 providing drinking water to more than 1,300 homes in the Verano master planned community, formerly called Rio Visto. The construction was approved by the water district back in March, costing about $115,000. It's part of CVWD's ongoing efforts to upgrade and install new reservoirs, especially with older facilities being built in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. We actually started serving domestic water to the community in our service area in 1961. And so as the valley grew, we were putting in these reservoirs. It does make sense for us to upgrade them, especially to make sure that they are up to um, seismic activity and meeting those standards for earthquakes. CVWD's service area covers about 1,000 square miles from the San Gregorio Pass to the Salton Sea, serving 270,000 people, the largest provider of drinking water in the Coachella Valley. This reservoir, one of 67, holding a total of more than 171 million gallons per day to deliver the valley's water needs. It's expected to be finished by this December or early 2024. Jake Gracia, News Channel 3, Cathedral City. President Biden is in the Bay Area tonight as his three-day trip to California continues. The president met today with artificial intelligence experts in San Francisco. The White House says the reason for the meeting was to seize the opportunities posed by AI and manage the risks. The president met with a number of experts from across the field, including the executive director of the Center for Human Technology and a Stanford political science professor. The meeting is the administration's latest engagement on this rapidly growing field of artificial intelligence. Last month, the Biden administration unveiled a comprehensive AI plan with industry CEOs. For its search and rescue operation continuing in the North Atlantic after a mini sub disappeared on its way to the wreck of the Titanic. The Coast Guard says it's searching both the ocean surface and subsurface for the vessel, but so far the search has not yielded any results.